From orchard to breakfast table, Orange Juice's journey is far more intricate and fascinating than one might expect. It begins beneath the sun-drenched skies of Florida or Brazil, where oranges are hand-picked or machine-harvested with precision. These groves yield millions of boxes of fruit ready for processing. Some of the largest plants in Florida handle up to 25 million boxes each season, while top-tier Brazilian facilities, like Citrasuco in Matasão, process an astonishing 60 million boxes, or 2.4 million tons, before the juices even reach the machines. Ripe oranges arrive at the factory onboard trucks that tip them onto conveyors, ushering them into zones of swift transformation. From there, they go through initial stages of washing and grading. Fruits are cleaned to remove dust, dirt, pesticide residue, and anything unripe or damaged is discarded, sometimes repurposed as animal feed. Next comes extraction, a critical step determining both yield and taste. Oranges are directed to extractor types tailored to their size and ripeness. The reamer type, favored for precision, gently separates juice, oil, and peel. The squeezer type handles more variation in fruit shape, but risks introducing peel oil and pulp. During pressing, specialized machinery also captures volatile orange peel oils, later used in flavor packs, a hallmark of many commercial juices. From here, the process diverges based on the final product. The raw juice, still containing pulp and rag, is first clarified via sieving and centrifugation. Solids are separated, pulp may be washed for various uses, and oil is removed or reclaimed for flavor enhancements. Now the juice faces a key decision, become concentrated, F, C, O, J, or remain not from concentrate, NFC. For concentrate, juice is heated and vacuum evaporated, HTST, removing water until it reaches about 66 degrees bricks. Flavor compounds lost during heating are recovered and later added back through precise flavor packs, often derived from peel oil. The result? Dense juice stored frozen or aseptically, sometimes for years, ready to be diluted later into familiar orange drinks. For NFC juice, the clarified juice is pasteurized, deaerated, oxygen removal improves shelf life, and often stored frozen or in aseptic tanks to preserve its fresh squeezed character. However, this processing strips much of the natural aroma. To bring back that fresh squeezed smell, factories add flavor packs, rich in compounds like ethyl butyrate, designed to mimic natural orange zest. These packs are rarely labeled explicitly, contributing to the fresh taste illusion. Pasteurization remains essential for both concentrate and NFC forms. It deactivates enzymes like pectinesterase, responsible for degradation, ensures microbial safety, and locks in shelf stability. Techniques include flash pasteurization via rapid heating, up to 197 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by instantaneous cooling. Afterward, the juice is filled into cartons or cans, sealed, and cooled immediately to maintain quality. Behind the scenes, waste doesn't go to waste. Peels, rag, and pulp are often reprocessed in an on-site feed mill. They're dried, pelletized, and redirected as animal feed or byproducts, circular systems that reduce waste and add efficiency. This entire orchestration reflects an engineering masterpiece, coordinating quality control, blending, storage, and shelf life. Juice is tested for juice yield, bricks, acidity, and color to ensure consistent flavor before blending to uniform standards. All of these sophisticated processes remind that the orange juice in cartons undergoes a journey far beyond simple squeezing. Pasteurization, deaeration, concentration, flavor restoration, and packaging extend its shelf life offering convenience at scale while simultaneously diluting some of the original freshness and nutrition. While not part of the traditional factory supply chain, innovation in production is escalating globally. For example, Innocent Drinks facility in Rotterdam, nicknamed The Blender, 
demonstrates how sustainability, robotics, and clean energy can redefine juice manufacturing. The factory uses robot monitors, solar energy, and heat pumps to maintain 24-7 operations, illustrating where the industry may head next. At its core, the juice-making process is both technical and deeply human. Pioneers like Edwin L. Moore and others created frozen concentrate with a cutback method, adding back fresh juice to retain flavor and vitamin C, laying the groundwork for mass market juice that is still used today. But perhaps what's even more fascinating than the machinery is the story of the fruit itself. Every single orange that ends up in your glass has lived a journey of sunlight, soil, and seasons. Citrus groves around the world, especially in places like Florida, Brazil, and parts of Spain, are carefully cultivated not just for flavor, but for consistency. The balance between sweetness and acidity is everything, and farmers have learned over generations how to coax the very best from their orchards. Temperature swings, rainfall patterns, and even the timing of harvest can dramatically change the taste of the juice. That's why factories rely on expert tasters, yes, professional palates, who sample the incoming batches and classify them before blending. This ensures that every carton you buy delivers the same familiar flavor, no matter the season or the grove it came from. Once inside the plant, oranges that don't quite make the cut for juicing, whether because of imperfections, shape, or damage, still find purpose. They are not wasted, Many are redirected into animal feed, turned into essential oils, or processed for pectin, which is used in jams and candies. Even the peel holds value, rich in compounds that can be turned into natural cleaners, fragrances, or flavor extracts. This closed loop approach means that an orange factory is more than just a juicing facility. It is a hub of resourcefulness where every part of the fruit gets used. This sustainability aspect is often invisible to consumers, but it underscores just how efficient and thoughtful these operations have become. Another little-known detail lies in the cold storage process. After juice is extracted, large volumes are often flash-frozen or concentrated, especially when production exceeds immediate demand. This not only preserves the juice, but allows companies to ship it across continents without spoilage. When demand rises or a new market needs supply, the frozen concentrate is carefully thawed, reconstituted with pure water, and blended seamlessly back into the fresh batches. For many, this practice is controversial. Some purists argue that it alters the freshness of juice, but factories have perfected the art of keeping the flavor intact. In blind taste tests, most people cannot tell the difference between juice bottled straight from the extractor and juice that has been carefully reconstituted. Then comes the question of fortification. Modern consumers expect orange juice to not only taste good, but to deliver health benefits. That's why factories often enrich their juice with added calcium, vitamin D, or extra vitamin C. These nutrients are blended in with precision, ensuring uniformity across every drop. The science behind this is remarkable. Even though these vitamins come in powdered or liquid form, they must dissolve evenly without altering the color, taste, or cones, Rotalta zaltes, or clarity of the juice. It's chemistry and engineering working together to create a product that feels effortless to drink. Packaging is another fascinating chapter. Cartons and bottles may look simple, but they are marvels of engineering. A typical juice carton has multiple layers, paper for structure, aluminum for blocking light, and polyethylene for sealing. Together, these layers protect the juice from air, bacteria, and UV rays, which could otherwise degrade its flavor and nutrients. Factories invest millions in aseptic packaging systems, where the juice is sterilized, the packaging is sterilized, and the two meet in a completely sterile environment. This ensures shelf stability without the need for preservatives. Every carton is then sealed, coated with its batch number and expiration date, and whisked away to warehouses for distribution. 
The global logistics that follow are a story in themselves. From refrigerated trucks to shipping containers with precise climate control, orange juice travels across thousands of miles before reaching supermarket shelves. A factory in Brazil might harvest and process juice that ends up in a breakfast table in Paris, while Florida groves feed demand in New York, London, or Tokyo. This international dance of supply and demand has turned orange juice into a commodity traded on global markets, with futures contracts determining prices months in advance. Farmers, processors, and retailers alike are all linked in this intricate web, making that simple morning glass part of a much larger economic story. Of course, no discussion of orange juice factories would be complete without addressing the critics. Some argue that the process has become too industrialized, stripping juice of its natural character. They point to flavor packs, specialized blends of orange essence and aroma that are added back into juice after storage. To maintain uniform taste, these packs are derived from oranges themselves, but the idea that juice needs to be reflavored unsettles some purists. Yet without them, the taste would vary wildly depending on the season and orchard. The industry's response is simple. Consistency is what consumers demand. And these natural essences ensure that every sip feels the same year round. Technology continues to shape the future of orange juice production. Automation, robotics, and artificial intelligence are now entering the factory floor. Sensors monitor every step of the process, detecting even the tiniest variations in acidity, sugar content, or pulp. Predictive algorithms help factories anticipate demand, optimize storage, and minimize waste. Some plants are experimenting with blockchain to trace every drop of juice from grove to glass, ensuring transparency and boosting consumer confidence. This new era of smart factories may one day redefine what we think of as fresh, sustainable, and traceable juice. Beyond the technology and logistics, there is still the human element. Thousands of workers, farmers, pickers, factory technicians, quality controllers, and drivers contribute to the journey of each orange. Their expertise, labor, and care form the backbone of the entire industry. For many, especially in rural farming communities, orange production is not just a job, but a way of life passed down through generations. That human touch, combined with cutting-edge science, is what gives orange juice its unique character, a product of both nature and nurture. And finally, let's not forget the cultural impact. Orange juice has become more than just a beverage. It's a symbol of vitality, a fixture of breakfast tables, and an icon of wellness marketing. From advertisements promising sunshine in a glass to the association of juice with childhood mornings before school, factories aren't just making a drink. They're shaping traditions and memories. That's why behind the gleaming machines, stainless steel tanks, and endless conveyor belts lies something far deeper. The story of how humanity has harnessed technology to capture the essence of nature and bring it to millions of tables around the world. In the end, a factory-made glass of orange juice represents a delicate balance. It is the intersection of sunlight and science, farming and engineering, local groves and global trade. The journey may be complex, but the result is beautifully simple. A refreshing golden liquid that connects people across borders, generations, and breakfast tables. But there's another side to the story. Innovation in flavors. While classic pure orange juice remains the star of the industry, factories are constantly experimenting with blends that cater to changing consumer tastes. You'll find orange mixed with mango, passion fruit, pineapple, or even carrot in some markets. These aren't random pairings. They're carefully tested to balance sweetness, nutrition, and shelf stability. The innovation doesn't stop there. Factories also experiment with reduced sugar versions, probiotic enriched options, and sparkling orange juices for younger audiences 
seeking something fun and refreshing. It's proof that even in something as traditional as orange juice, creativity never stops flowing. Sustainability has also become a driving force. With climate change affecting citrus crops worldwide, factories are investing in more sustainable farming practices, water-efficient irrigation systems, integrated pest management, and eco-friendly fertilizers are being adopted to protect both the fruit and the planet. On the factory side, energy-efficient machinery and solar-powered facilities are reducing carbon footprints. Some companies even recycle their wastewater into clean irrigation for the groves. The idea is simple. Protect the source, and the juice will continue to flow for generations to come. Even marketing has transformed over time. Decades ago, orange juice was promoted mainly as a breakfast drink. Today, campaigns emphasize its role as an all-day refreshment, a natural sports recovery beverage, or even as a mixer for cocktails. Social media has opened new avenues, where factories share behind-the-scenes looks at harvesting, juicing, and packaging. For consumers, seeing this process builds trust and reminds them that juice is more than just liquid in a carton. It's the result of a remarkable journey from tree to table. Perhaps the most surprising part of this entire industry is how personal it feels. Despite the massive scale of operations, despite the billions of liters produced each year, each glass still feels like a simple, intimate moment. Families gather around breakfast tables, athletes sip juice after workouts, children gulp it down before rushing to school. In those moments, the vast machinery, the global trade, the science, and the logistics all disappear. What remains is pure enjoyment, an everyday ritual that connects us to nature in the most accessible way possible. And that's really the magic of orange juice. It's not just about processing fruit in a factory. It's about capturing sunshine, bottling vitality, and delivering joy. Every sip carries a story of orchards blooming, workers harvesting, engineers refining, and communities depending on this golden fruit. And whether you drink it fresh squeezed from a carton or chilled from a bottle, that story becomes part of your day, nourishing not just your body, but your connection to something bigger. And that wraps up the journey of how orange juice is really made in a factory. Next time you pour yourself a glass, you'll know that what looks like a simple drink is actually the result of farming traditions, cutting edge technology, and a global system that brings sunshine to your table. If you enjoyed learning about this process and want to see more fascinating stories of how everyday things are made, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. Until next time, thanks for watching, and cheers to the magic of orange juice.